All right, Digigang, welcome back to another episode. I'm pretty excited to continue recording here because we have a couple of Digivolutions, some things that we have been working on throughout the week, or at least since last time we recorded. What I have been doing is having Digifarm Island 1 developing constantly at the 10,000 level, and I've also, as Digimeat has been recovering, feeding Digimeat to some of these Digimon that I'm going to need for some Digivolutions later on. And the Digimeat thing I've been doing across all the islands, but I had Farm Island 2 working on defense for Pale Dramon and Metal Guru Ramon because they both needed some defense levels in order to get some Digivolutions. And Farm Island 3 I have had investigating because I'd like to get some of those cases that have Digivolution items. Lastly, in Farm Island 4, I have been training up Digimon to increase their intelligence. So now look at, look at Lilithmon's intelligence here. It's plus 100 and it's at 405. I mean, it's crazy. She already hit really hard and I think she's gonna hit even harder. What I also did was remove some attack from her because she had like plus 30 or plus 40 attack and I used some items, some of the restraint chips to remove attack from her and so that's just gonna allow me to spread out that 200 ABI into places that I really want instead of a place where she's not really going to use it. So I would like to do intelligence and SP because SP runs out really quickly for, for any Digimon. It just runs out super quick. I mean, look at the special abilities like Phantom Pain. That costs 50 SP. Like realistically, how many times can she do that? Six times with 300 SP. So it'd be nice to increase that. Anyway, that is what I've been doing throughout the week. Just again, feeding Cam to everybody. There is one more thing that I wanted to to show you before getting into the Digivolutions, something that I want to really try out. As I have been coming to the terminal here, and part of the reason why the intelligence buffs have increased so much is because I have purchased top study rooms. I bought a couple of these, and so my yen went down by a lot of money because I bought like four of them. But basically in that Farm Island 4 where I had Lilithmon training on intelligence, the intelligence training has been a lot more profitable, I guess. The yield has been greater because I've had this item or multiple of this item attached to that digi farm but while i was in here looking through what this store has here in this digi lab i noticed that there's an item here that you can purchase called exciting meat and best meat and so off camera i purchased these two and tried them out and the exciting meat as you can see it says that the feed dramatically increases cam on rare occasions so i bought only two of them and i fed them to uh devi woman whatever her name is lady devimon yeah I fed it to her and she rejected the second one but the first one she accepted and it increased her cam by like 20. Best meat increases cam by like 5 I think. So it's really, from what it seems, it's a gamble because best meat greatly increases cam and that's it. So I think it's a steady increase of 5 cam every time you feed it to a Digimon. Whereas exciting meat, there's a chance that your Digimon won't accept it. You see it's half as expensive as best meat. And so it's really just, you know, do you want to try your luck? So best meat increases by 5 cam and it costs 10,000 yen. And so I guess as long as 1 out of 4 works with exciting meat, then it's kind of worth it. Then again, you've spent 20,000 yen to get 20 cam. I don't know if this is making any sense, but it's just kind of tricky. I feel like I'm going to do a bit of both. But here's the problem. I'm going to run out of yen pretty quickly if I start doing this, I think even though I have 138,000. So I just feel like some of these training items, I'm going to want to increase different stats with them and at least increase the uh, the yield of every time I, I go in and, and, and train something. These are really expensive though. And so what I'm going to do is something that I had planned to do for a while. Now you'll see it here in my list of Digimon that I'm actually starting to, to work on this. I have a Black King Numamon which I'm going to turn into a Platinum Numamon. And then I have another Black King Numamon that's going to become a Platinum Numamon. But I also have a Gold Numamon. I'm going to keep him right there. And then uh, this is the third Platinum Numamon. So I'm going to have three Platinum Numamon. And then I'm going to try to have two more Gold Numamon. I might make one of these into... Maybe not this one, but this one. Uh, I might make this one into a gold Numamon. So the idea is to have three platinum Numamon, three gold Numamon, and with the three gold Numamon, if you look at its special ability, it increases yen earned in battle. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to try to run with three of these at some point and see if I can farm money this way. Then I can more easily buy the training items and then I can be a little bit more efficient with what stats I want increased. So we'll see how that goes. 
sorry for that super long intro, but I'm going to take you now into some Digivolutions that we have been waiting on, including War Greymon turning into Omnimon. This took a lot of work, but here we go. Yep, uh, I know we have the, uh, oh, whoops, hold on, hang on a second. This is gonna be really tough because I had a lot of physical attacks and it looks like he's like half-half now, so, um, yeah, just give me one second here. Alright guys, that took a long time, but, uh, yeah, we have Omnimon now. Here's the thing, he is more balanced than War Greymon was. War Greymon was definitely more of an attacker, and I know that's skewed a little bit from the training that I... He was in the same farm island that Lilith was, that was increasing Int, but I did need Int for the Digivolution to go to Omnimon, so that's why he was there. But he, he got a lot of Int now, um, and so he's he's kind of balanced between the two. At least more balanced than where Greymon was. Uh, hopefully I can remove some of the int that he has if I want to try to keep him as a physical attacker. But we will see. Anyway, let's continue on with some of the Digivolutions that we had. I, I meant to go to Kotomon and then I noticed that I, I went to Shoutmon for, for no reason just because I was like, why not? And then I realized that there was a Digivolution that I was missing. So here's another one. Very nice. Power Ranger vibes over here. Wish I knew his name. Wow, he's a free type with no... Okay, he's a free type with no, like, level or anything. He doesn't... He's not a Mega or an Ultra. He doesn't say what he is. How interesting. Is that like a helmet on his back? <laughs> Let's keep going. Tsunamon. Huh. Zubamon. Cool. Interesting. Alright, so since we have them already, he, he, there are no new Digivolutions, let's bring it back down to Tsunamon. Now Tsunamon, when he gains a couple more levels, he'll be able to go to this one. That we don't know what it is. What else we got? Still working on this one. XVmon turning into a Stingmon. I had to go on the hunt for Vmon so I could scan them and digi-convert this one out of the scan data. And then I evolved him to XVmon once I got enough cam. And I've been working on that since then. So he needs to be at 100% and so does Stingmon. Now let's go to the next Digi Farm Island. And Kilomon. Alright, this is one that we can evolve. But we're going to do it from Angemon's side. So where's Angemon? Here he is. So really curious what this one's going to be. What the... Shakomon. All right. <laughs> All right then. Oh, we got one more. Okay. We need attack now. Attack and defense. Oof, that's gonna be hard. That is one of the weaker stats that he has. Okay, well, I guess we will continue training that. Now, who else do we have? Nobody else in Farm Island 4. Oh, wait, 3. No one else. Stingmon, still working on it. Hildramon needs max HP now. What is it, 16? 1600? Almost there. Almost there. Just gotta let him level up a little bit more. Okay, now since we're continuing the story, we are gonna need a few people to join our team. We are gonna need our pal Lilithmon. I'm gonna bring in Shine Greymon as well. So I'm gonna keep Shine Greymon here because we need a strong fire attacker. Something else that I was doing was, um, I had mentioned it earlier, was going into the mirror dungeons and finding, like when I said I was hunting Vmon, this is where I was doing it. I went into Digital Space 6 in the mirror dungeon and just kept running into enemies until I got enough conversion memory, I guess, to, to digi-convert Vmon. And what I did in my party was to have all my front guys equipped with researcher USBs. So they increased the amount of data I got when scanning. So out of like two encounters, that's, that's all I really needed once I did this. 
And so I was able to acquire a couple more Digimon, which is kind of cool. And I'm actually kind of nervous about equipping things and then removing Digimon because it's like, I, I don't know if, say I use them in a DNA Digivolution, like, is that are those items gone? Like, what happens to those items? I'm not sure if they get added back into my inventory or what. Alright, cool. Well, that's everything. I recovered my uh, SP and MP because I have been fighting with level 99s who don't level up anymore and don't recover SP and MP. But, yeah, let's continue on. Now, let's leave the Digilab. I've been researching cases. I wonder if anything got added while we were gone. And I guess I can check the case board to see if anything got added. Okay, eight cases. Nice. Okay. Is that... <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see if one of these is... Alright, looks like all these reward medals, so unfortunately, I don't- at least they don't say it outright. I, I don't think these are going to reward us with the Digivolution items that we we're looking for. That's kind of what I thought would happen when we go investigating cases, that they just sort of get piled up on there. And yeah, so it looks like I can't scroll up and down on that case board, so I, I believe I've hit the limit of how many cases I can take on which have been investigated. Fighting between the humans and powerful Digimon has already broken out in the area around the Metropolitan Office. Magnamon and Ulforce Vidramon are preventing the battle from expanding. It is only a matter of time before the scale increases. And there is a powerful force, force field near the top level of the Metropolitan Office. Leopardmon may be there. Oh man, this seems pretty crazy. Cubimon, listen up. Raising Cam with your Digimon makes what occur during battle. Makes what occur during battle. Oh. Generate combos. I think there were more messages than that. Yeah, let's see. Nokia, you'll be fine if Kyoko's with you, but still, be careful. Thanks. Matayoshi. Where is he? I had a message from him. Don't worry about the city. I'll take care of it. You do what you need to do. You be careful too, Mr. Matayoshi. Alright. So this is a new area. Um, not with the main people I thought I would be. I keep thinking that maybe we're near the end of the game, I don't know. A friend of mine keeps asking me, how's the Digimon playthrough going? And I'm always like, I think I'm near the end, and I've been saying that for like, four months now. <laughs> Yukino, friends help each other out when things get rough, otherwise they'll regret it. Being my friend's a bit rough right now, you sure you're up for it? I don't need you to tell me that, Mom. <laughs> Both answers are so weird. <laughs> sure. Reliable defense trooper. Some miasma has flooded the upper floors. I'd head there to check it out, but the elevator is broken down and monsters have taken up in the stairwell. The only way in is to take a helicopter and enter through the roof. Or use a flying Digimon. Whoa, man. Belfamon is like in my way. Alright, what's going to be here? Whoa! What is that? Hercules? Kabuterimon? And Cannon Beamon? Wow. There's a chance for you guys to see some of these um, ultimate moves. And some victory animations. Alright, so we don't have a helicopter, elevator's broken. Gutsy Defense Trooper. Most of the government offices have moved back into the old city hall now that Tokyo is like, is? Huh? <laughs> oh, what's this? These arrows.
That thing is scary, right? Alright, well, let's go upstairs. Hmm. Mom, um, Mac Gaugaman and Hi Andromon. Cool. Let's see this one. Really, man? Sorry, just checking this area here. It looks like there's multiple elevators. Not sure which one I should take. Well, B, makes it easier to generate combos is correct. And Mateoshi, of course, I won't be reckless. I don't want to die just yet. Same goes to you. Alright, well, let's try the first one. Oh, are they all the same destination? This looks like the elevator to 30F. The power is down. Okay. I see. It's red and green. Okay. Hmm, let's just go here then. 13F. What's this? Then you can go to 14F. Okay. Ah, uh, what is it? Thanks for always being there. I sent you something to show my appreciation. Speaking of which... What are you? That was from Numa Numa Numa. I am super curious. It's probably all the way to the end. Whoa, there it is. What is this? Omni Shoutmon? That's what this is? Okay. Alright then. Wow. Oh man. Alright guys, this has been a blast trying to figure out this puzzle of a level with random encounters constantly happening, but I do only have 30 minutes left to record, so I'm going to turn off random encounters and try to see if we can complete this level and all of its puzzles and see what we can, what we can acquire along the way. So we were just on floor 13. We went to floor 14. Alright, got some treasure. We're gonna head back down. That's probably all that it is. It's similar to other dungeons where you step on a portal and it teleports you somewhere else. And then you gotta teleport back or whatever and, and just access different parts of that floor using different portals that are located at different places. That's probably all this is. It's just laid out a little bit differently. So now we can hit another part of floor 14 from this elevator. Yeah, see, we can jump down there if we wanted to.
any treasure here? Nope. Alright, go back down to 13. Hey, there we go. Nice. Chrome Digizoid. I've been getting those items. I think this is a jump down. Pretty sure. Yep. This goes to floor 14. Let us check what's down here first. I think this is a jump down too. Yeah. What's down there though? Not sure if it's worth it. Let's go to 14 first. From this side. Okay, we got an item here. Nice. Good, alright. Now I will jump down here to see what is at the end of this curve. Alright, another elevator. I am digging the music here. It's kind of cool. Okay, that goes to 15th floor. Okay. Any items here? Nope. I have to continue forward though. Thanks for always being there. I sent you something to show my appreciation. Thanks. Um, yeah. The access point right there. HP spray. Now, a couple more elevators. Let's see, where does this one go? Wait, what did you just say? Did I just turn power on to the lobby? I didn't read what that said. Whoa, 27th floor. Alright, this takes me to the lobby, and the other one takes me to the 27th floor. So let's check what's there first. Because for all we know, it's just like some corner that has a chest. <laughs> um, what does this do? Oh, 28, 29. Okay. It's back to 15. Yeah. Let's go for the item. Man, this is a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I guess we've jumped to the floors that are in the 20s now, I guess. So... Yeah, so now we're on 27, 28, 29. Right, so I didn't really have a choice. I think I can still go back, though. We didn't really explore what was on the first couple sets of levels. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. What I'm, what I'm speculating here is that we will be exploring these floors in sets of three. I feel like that's what it is, because we were in first floor, right? And then we jump to like 13, 14, 15. And so we basically, that's how we explore. That's how we explore in, in sets of three. Yeah, see, so we get to the 13th floor. Then we explore 13, 14, 15. And then once we're done with 13, 14, 15, we jump to the 20s. And it looks like it goes up to like 40. I don't know. Anyway, I just have to go back. I am pretty sure I've seen all this.
Dynas Mon, you are the Mega Digimon working with Omnimon to aid the humans? Enemy though you may be, I applaud your ability to have defeated Crusader Mon, a Digimon called Kyoko. I merely lent my strength to the others. But without your power, Crusader Mon would not have been beaten. No, that is not certain. Can one who has lost his just cause still attain victory? If you wish it, I would happily resolve this without violence. Dynasmon, that is not possible. We are already far beyond that now. Don't you think that the utter destruction of the real world is a mistaken course of action? Needless to say, even I may look evil in your eyes, but I have but one path to follow, one path to believe in. Come, my comrades, and you humans! Which path is correct? Let a test of strength decide for us. And battle. Dynasmon, this, this is good. To martyr myself for my path, an honorable end. I reach the end without wavering in my faith. My life will conclude in annihilation. The way of the night is in death and discovery. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. And dies. A Digimon called Kyoko. Was his laugh a bit silly to you? Yes. It's all down to the will of King Drazzle. Both sides determine the course of events now. The Royal Knights in a single program, no matter how powerful you may be, you cannot run from destiny. Dot dot dot. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was just one of them. Uh, Shakuman, thank you for everything. I sent you something as thanks. Yeah, don't send me anything anymore, you weird Digimon. <laughs> uh, Ryota, hey, hey, listen. Oh, hey, 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 listen. I, 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 I finally did it. Uh, did something happen with Sakura? Doubt it. Sakura, I have something to tell you. I'm actually dating Ryota now. <laughs> Why again? <laughs> no, congrats. <laughs> then Rina, the strawberry parfait in front of the station is heavenly. This world rocks. Okay, so we're trying to stop the end of the world, so... You mean the supersized parfait at the station front cafe? You ate all that? And you like sweet stuff, huh? Alright. Okay, not sure where we are. I, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know where I am now. Sorry. Let's continue going forward. I guess we have to deal with the next set of... of floors. Let's use these memory ups and restore some health for Alphamon.
All right, sorry guys, Eileen had called me and I was on the phone with her while I was navigating the last three floors. Um, so we did that battle and then now we are moving ahead with the next three floors. So let's see, hope this isn't too complicated. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're, we're balancing four floors at the same time. Or like, as in, in my head, I'm trying to keep track of four different floors. <laughs> okay, so 37 has a has an elevator that goes up to different places. Right? And then 38, let's see what's up here. Because it, it could just be a dead end, and we don't have to really think about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Rosemon, nice. Okay. 39, are you a dead end too? Yes, you are. Nice. Let's go back to 37. Now, this goes back to 36. How interesting. I wonder if there's something there. Mm-hmm. There sure is. Oh, and there's... another elevator. Where do you go? Oof, okay. Uh, Alright, I don't want to get too convoluted here. Hang on. <laughs> that might be the way forward. Whoa, okay, lots of messages. Hang on. Alright, Farm Island completed. Cheerful disc. Huh, okay. Thank you for everything. Alright, these are just gifts. Cool. Alright, next time we see an access point, we can go in and check what is uh, happening. So we have 38. We were on 37. Now we can go to 38 and 39. Okay. Sorry, my, my short-term memory is trash, so it's like, I have to like talk through this stuff out loud. And a lot of times I, I don't leave it in these videos, I I just talk out loud to help myself remember and stay on track and not forget what I just read or saw. <laughs> so I don't know, I might have chosen to leave this part in, <laughs> so whatever, make fun of me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so far it has been working. Now let's check floor 37. Right, looks like a treasure chest. Now this, I think is a step down. Yep, we have explored that already. So let's keep going up floors. Because we were on 36, now we're on 37, we're going to go to 38. And hopefully 39 will have the end of this set of elevators. No? Okay. Oh, I thought there would be an item there. So glad we eliminated random encounters. What's here? Okay, that takes us to 39. Oh, and you can go to 36 for me. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Floor 38 has another set of elevators. Or has another elevator with floors. Let's just check out 39 and see where 39 takes us. For all we know, it's a dead end. Yep. Bishop disc. Nice. Again, I'm feeling like we're reaching the end here, but don't really have the, the team that I wanted to have. That's okay, though. Now, let's go back down to 36 and check out what we might have missed down there. I'm sure that... Yep. There's a chest there. Oh, there's another one, actually, further down. Hmm. I'm not too worried if we don't get it. A lot of this stuff is like revival. <laughs> Revivals or like speed boost or other things. Clever carrot, nice. Now that probably takes us to the other one in floor 36. See they're like revival sprays, they're just sort of giving you items for battle. Okay, I don't want to get too confused. <laughs> Where are we? We're at 37. Okay. <laughs> I feel it leaving my brain. <laughs> we, 
We were on 37. Okay, we were on 37. We were on 37. Come on, brain. Don't fail me. <laughs> okay, this is the floor that we got onto this elevator from. Okay, we did not check 39. All right. Now we can go back down to 37. Because 37 has the other elevator. Yeah. Okay, I guess we are going to end up getting this one. Yep. We were on 37, right? Now we're on 38. We're on to 38. Now 38 has another elevator. Oh, okay, never mind. I think we've been on this already. We've been on this floor. Now let's head to 39. Alright, 40th floor. Okay, here's an access point. Let's go to the Digilab. 